on this episode of Riding Shotgun. Here's a muscle car that's as American as apple pie. We'll meet a unique 1968 Pontiac GTO that's been in one family for nearly 50 years. I'm gonna try to see what she's got. Well, I guess she's not pinned. She's having too much fun. Yeah. I love it. I'm Michelle Rodriguez, and you know I love cars. So I teamed up with noted car expert and collector... Look at that baby. ...Chris Mazzilli to find the owners of one-of-a-kind cars. So cool. Learn their stories. Down, boy! And put these cars to the test on a professional racetrack. This thing is awesome! This is a 68 GTO, and what's very unique about this car, it is owned by its original owner, John Romano. This car inspired the muscle movement. Absolutely. That was the car that inspired the whole industry. I had the original invoice, I had a title, the bill sheet on it, I even had the warranty card. How much did you pay originally for the car? You wouldn't believe it. It was uh, a 35, uh, I think it's 3,600. And today, the, this car, the way it sits, is a $50,000 car. Absolutely. It was uh, quite surprising to me because uh, this car was an everyday driver. My wife used to drive this car with the kids, school, shopping, and whatnot. Your daughter learned how to drive in a car like this? She drove to the, the high school. Senior year, she took the car to school twice a week. My daughter, she took pictures with the car, getting ready to go to prom. And she said, Dad, can I drive it to the prom? I said, we're not doing that. <laughs> so many stories with these cars when you own them so long. This is like a family heirloom. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Overall, though, this car is a very good running car. Bulletproof. The car has 150 some odd thousand miles on it. Tranny has never been touched. The engine has been tweaked a little bit. Can we take a look at the engine? Sure. Let me get it, Chris. It's a little bit of a trick. This was designed specifically to keep people out of the hood. If you can't get access to the hood, you can't get into the electronics and start the car. <laughs> I worked for a defense company. It was easy for me to have all these little devices on the that car. That is awesome. At least five attempts on stealing the car. In the neighborhood where we lived. Where was that? Flushing. Ah, Queens. People always steal cars in good neighborhoods. Yeah, you gotta yeah. remember that. And I think the, the last failed attempt was when uh, I had a canister under the steering wheel. It went off, emit a type of gas that would burn his eyes. <laughs> Right? Oh and, <laughs> and he couldn't get out, so he cracked his head on the other side of the, the glass. <laughs> so this guy's bleeding, and had, the blood trail was all the way out. So when, when, the, when the cops came, he says, you had your revenge. <laughs> I said, yes. And I said to my wife, we gotta, we gotta move out of here. I can't believe you had tear gas in your <laughs> I, I didn't say tear gas, did I? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. I... What do you say we get this green monster out on the track? Absolutely. Let's yeah, do yeah, it. I'm gonna do it. Let's Sounds do it. Great. The Pontiac GTO, the original muscle car. John's edition came out in 1968 and was the debut of the second generation design. It featured a new slicker look with optional features like hidden headlights and dual gate shifter, allowing you to easily switch between manual and automatic shifting. John's GTO has only had a few minor modifications since he bought it almost 50 years ago. And it's been certified original by the Pontiac Historical Society. Our track expert, Pete, has her all warmed up for me. Now it's my turn to get behind the wheel of this true American classic. My God, I just can't believe that you were able to keep it in this shape for so that's long. All, that's all original interior. That's original interior. If you look real close and look up at the top, my daughter Nicole with her bottle used to spray the milk on the back. I couldn't get the no milk way. stains off. <laughs> Did you believe that? Those are mini milk stains? Yeah, mini yeah. milk stains. I could never get the stains out. That's so awesome, man. Thank you. John, why don't you talk a little bit about the handling and this car? When the car was designed, it was meant to go in a straight line. It wasn't curve friendly. However, I did change the tires to uh, the latest and greatest that's available. I have uh, wide tires on the rear, so when you're hitting the turn, it should help a little bit. <laughs> but th think straight, it would be safe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, ready? Yeah. Do it. this thing. Get 
on the brakes a little bit? See how good they are? Yeah, they are great brakes, actually. For a 50-year-old car, man, it's got pickup. It's got some torque to it. It's smooth, it's not jumpy. Nothing's rattling. It's interesting, you know, driving these wide cars because uh, I'm not used to it. You're a natural. I think you're tested for these straightaway cars, these muscle cars. <laughs> Look how badass that thing is. Look at the sound. I love it. It's like a cruise ship. Not as big as the Queen Mary, but it's big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm popping 90 right now. Amazing that this car gets, you know, carry all this weight. It has a lot of horsepower. How much do you think this car weighs? It's got to be 4,000 pounds. Jesus, that's a lot. And then we're <laughs> in it, so that's 4,300. I'm yeah. 200, you're 100. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is the last lap, so I'm going to try to see what she's got. Oh, I guess she's not pitting. She's having too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> that he was able to keep it in such great shape for so many Amazing. years. Amazing. Especially after everybody in the family beating up on it. If people could only take care of themselves the way that he takes <laughs> care of this car, <laughs> I think our longevity would be like, forget about it. What do you think about the old school whip? Impressive. How do you like it when you get on it, the noise it makes, right? You just got this pickup here. It's like, I don't expect it. How'd you like the turns? The turns were nice. Everything was smooth. It's amazing. Today was more than a trip into the history of muscle cars. It was also a trip into John's family lineage. I'm glad you enjoyed the ride. Yeah, I did. Thank you so much. Every inch of this car has a story, and I feel privileged to be a small part of it now.